So Jared O'Mara, MP for Sheffield Hallam, took the seat from Nick Clegg, former leader of the Liberal Democrats, has been arrested. For those who don't remember, I will link the video I did on Jared O'Mara in the past on this channel below. He hadn't been doing his job for a while after being removed as a member of Labour Party, an MP for them. He's still an MP, his intention being to step down when the summer recess is over. Why he doesn't leave sooner, I'm not entirely sure. They could at least then arrange quickly a turnaround to replace him with somebody that won't basically give up on his constituency. And before anyone says it, yes, I'm very much aware of his mental health issues. He was selected as a last-minute replacement, Jared O'Mara that is, when the previous councillor who would have taken the spot decided to resign because of his age and all that. And priorities. Amara himself having a multitude of issues, Bel Palsy being one. Depression, anxiety, the list does go on. I'm not going to rail on him for that. In fact, the fact he even admitted to getting help is a good sign. Because I said in the last video, I believed he was not good enough to be a representative of the constituency. He was not fit for office. He should have resigned sooner. But because of the issues surrounding the supposed homophobic tweets he put out, well, many, many years ago, that came back to bite him on the backside and cost him his job, he took it quite badly. Let's just say that. Although I should now state, it is quite interesting to me that of the MPs that have done and said really stupid things, it just so happens to only be the straight white man who ever actually suffered for it. It's just with 2015 and the whole privilege thing and bedroom feminist videos, it amused me to notice. Because there are a number of MPs, women of colour no less, and only one had any effect because it was so criminal she had to be removed. All the others did things that are as stupid as what Jarrah O'Mara did, and not one of them suffered it. That's interesting. Along with himself being arrested, so was his chief of staff. They are being arrested, or have been arrested, on suspicion of fraud. South Yorkshire police have confiscated a considerable amount of electronic equipment. Now, since then, both have been released while they're under investigation. And the details confirming either man's arrest is not being confirmed by the police. The Independent Parliamentary Standards Authority has said that this is a matter for the police. They don't step in until a conviction happens. We know this because Fiona Arnasanya, she was still an MP even when she was sent down. Back in July, because of the issues Amara had, he did say he was taking time out for mental health treatment after the allegations of sexual misconduct towards staff. It should be pointed, he should have resigned immediately, because while he is still an unfit MP for Sheffield Hallam, and he is not doing his job, that constituency's voice is not being heard. Them going so far as to reach out to neighbouring constituency MPs and asking for help. You are irresponsible in dragging out the suffering of those people who have asked for help from their MP. I, at the moment, can't call mine because he's currently going through some sexual assault charges. Now, I will take the strong position that until he is convicted, if he's convicted even, I will not comment on it. I will wait and see what happens. For those who are curious, my MP is Charlie Elphick. He did my family a huge service back in 2016, which earned my vote in 2017. The only time I've ever voted for him, I should be clear. It'll be interesting to see how that one plays out, but we'll save that for another day. Sinead Parkinson, a member of the Hallam Constituent Facebook group, has told BBC that their pleas and investigation is underway, but are still a constituency unrepresented, and action needs to be taken to correct that. The process of selecting a new person is important. Whether that will be a new Labour member, one cannot be sure. Because if it's anything like the man from Wales, whose name I've forgotten, Brecon and Radnorshire constituency, people might feel a little bit betrayed that they selected this guy who was not fit for office. During an investigation, the BBC uncovered staff running the MP's office without adequate security clearance required by parliamentary authorities. After the investigation was published, the constituency office has then been closed and then the staff given four weeks' notice. Treasury confirmed that O'Mara in recent weeks gave formal notice of his intent to resign in September. The office that he used to inhabit is now a vacant building. Hallam deserves an MP, so the moment Parliament returns from its summer recess, I mean, from its waste of time for leaving the EU thing, they had better do a turnaround within a couple of weeks, because they need this to be sorted. 